But here's the trick. Open with Adobe Acrobat or use a different print app. G'day folks, it's DIY Guy 123 here bringing you another do-it-yourself video. Today I'm going to be talking to you about how you can print from your scanners, which is a pretty cool feature. They generate really nice reports and it would be great to be able to print them out and make notes on them or give them to your your customer, your friend, uh, or your or keep a record for yourself. This video is going to demonstrate printing using D7, but I also have the IP819. First thing you have to realize, this is an Android-based tablet, and unlike other Android devices, there's no uh, Google Play Store in here. You can't use it to easily download new apps onto the onto the operating system. So you have to download the the basically the installation file for a driver that allows this thing to connect to your wireless printer. There's a certain type of uh, software called Morpria. There's a link in my description. And I did some reading on that company and it's, it's a consortium basically and all the major printer manufacturers have joined it and they are making their printers compatible with this standard that allows Android devices to print wirelessly to printers. This device here does have a web browser, and I tried going to that driver download website directly on this, downloading the driver software to this device. I spent a lot of time with it, couldn't get it to work. I aborted that. The easiest way to do it is download the driver to a PC, and then connect this to the PC and copy the driver onto the file system of the tablet and then install it from there. So that's what I'm gonna show you next. The first thing we're gonna do is take our USB plug and plug it into the scanner and as soon as you do that you'll see this USB connected message pop up and I'm going to start recording the screen here and so touch to copy files to from your computer. The only difference with the IP819 is that after you connect the USB connection into your PC nothing happens on the screen you have to swipe down and then here it asks you a USB connected touch to copy file. So it's the familiar message. You have to do this in order to allow the tablet to be able to exchange files with the computer. And then you do have to click turn on USB storage. And then it asks you again to turn it on and you say, okay. So now at this stage, you can share files between the two. And uh, it also gives the option to turn it off when you want to turn it off. Now, I also see this pop up right here. There we go. So I click that, it says uh, Diag Pad with a new drive has opened up and choose what to do when it pops up. You can open folder to view files. So here we are, this is a file system of the tablet. So we're going to go into download and we'll be ready to paste our new file in here. So let's go get that new file. We'll go to that website that's in my description, the one that lists the driver version. As soon as you click, you type that in the URL field of your browser, it should start to download. So here is the file, it's called Mopria Print Service. And so I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it down into the download folder on the tablet. And so we're just going to take some time. It's pretty fast, here we go. And poof, there it is. So at this point, you're done using your PC. You wanna go back to the tablet and you can turn off USB storage and turn off USB storage. And we can back out of here and back out of here and back out of here. Now, if I go into, if I pick the home button here, it brings me to this desktop. And then if I pick the ES, it brings me into the file system. And if I go under download, there's my Mopria print service right there. And we will install the Mopria print service and we will install it and we will do this time only and we will do next to install it and then we will do install to install it. App is installed, then we can click open. Let's get to it. And then you have to accept the license agreement and the privacy policy, but you don't have to accept collection of anonymous data. And then you click agree. And 
Please enable Mopria print service in print settings. Okay. So we'll do that. So we come over here to settings and we're going to turn it to on. Click OK to turn it on. These are the two printers it's found. Okay, so we'll go back out of here, back out of here, and there is the printer that is found. I highlighted it. I find it's pretty annoying to switch from portrait to landscape so much, but anyway. Uh, there's the printer information. It shows that it is ready. And we can do a print of a test page. Talking to the printer. Of course, this is all through the Wi-Fi network. They've got to be on the same Wi-Fi network. Printing. And there we go. So there's the Mopria test page. So now the tablet is hooked up to the printer. And in case you didn't enable the Mopria printing software, I'm going to show you where to do that. We're going to back out, back out. We'll go to the home page. We'll go into settings. We'll go into printers at the printing at the bottom. And this is where you would turn Mopria print service on if it was off. So anyway, that the application prompted me to do this, but if it didn't prompt you, this is where you can go. So let's go into the main Xtool app and print out one of the reports that I've previously saved as an Adobe file. And there's a little trick I'm going to show you. So we go into diagnosis report and then I'll pick one of the items and it brought up the report and now I click on print PDF report. But here's the trick. Open with Adobe Acrobat or use a different print app, a different app. There's Mopria print. You may be tempted to pick that, but you don't want to do that. You want to pick open with Adobe Acrobat just once. You can pick always actually, but I just picked the once. And then on the top right, you pick print. And then on the top left, you drop the, you pick the drop down and you pick Canon 7600 series. That's the printer. Then on the top right, you pick the print button. Unfortunately, the printer spooler has stopped. What's going on? So there you have it. That's how you hook the printer up to, uh, to the Xtool D7. You know, it, it's kind of harder than it should be, but manageable. We got through it. Hope this helps you out. If it does, please leave a comment. I'm curious to see how many people actually um, you know, go through the video and, and if it helps them, I, I'd appreciate knowing about it. Good luck with your do-it-yourself projects.